So, welcome everybody, and thank you so much for coming today to celebrate a double book launch. So, I've never done a double book launch before. And when my publisher proposed the idea, I was a bit, oh, I'm not sure about that. Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, so far it's turning out to be a good idea. And um, the idea behind it is that it, it, this is the start of a new series, by the way. So this is the Sally Fairburn Crime Thriller series. And this red one here, Next Girl Missing, is book one. And this is book two. And book three actually comes out in October. So the idea is that if someone reads book one and goes, oh, I like that, they can immediately, particularly if, it, if you're into ebooks, they can immediately download the next one and the one after that. And you'll also find that, say, on Amazon, they're making a sort of a, an offer of the two books together to try and encourage people to do it. And it seems to be working, so let's keep, let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about the Sally Fairburn series. So this series is set in America, in an imaginary city called Franklin. And I was recently interviewed by somebody in America for a podcast, and um, she said, so, let me get this right. So you were born in England, but you live in Australia, and you have set the books in America. What's that all about? Um, I set books, as you probably know, all over the world. Some have been in Antarctica, some have been in England, some have been in Australia. Um, and I was particularly interested in setting these particular stories in this city that I made up. And I made it up because it gives me the freedom to have lots of spooky environments and dangerous cliff faces and, you know, scary forests wherever I want them to be. So there is a joy of actually not creating it in a real environment. But then the onus is on me is to create that environment. So Sally Fairburn, um, is, um, used to be a cop, and she became a victim support advocate. She's recently left that role, um, and her husband, of many, many years, has walked out on her and left her with her teenage son. And only when he leaves does she realize that she's been gaslighted. Now, does everybody in here know about gaslighting? Um, I started um, reading some books about gaslighting and true life stories about particularly women but also men who have been gaslighted and how they've been manipulated and how their self-belief has been taken away from them, how they no longer trust their own judgment. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to tell a story about such a person who then gets past that? and becomes a very strong woman and actually ends up being a detective. And this is what this Sally Fairburn story is about. How she goes from complete almost collapse and then is faced by a huge challenge, which is in this book. And you know me, I don't do anything by halves. So um, her, her challenge is this. So one day she's walking down the street where she lives and on the bus shelter is a missing person poster. And she looks at it in a bit more detail, and she is the person on that missing person poster. Now imagine that, you see yourself. And because she's come from a police background, she knows that many years ago there was a cold case that was never solved, and it was called the poster killer. And the poster killer put up posters of his victims just minutes before he took them. I won't say anything. <laughs> but all I will say to you is that Sally, read the book. yes, read the book because Sally, that. that